Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That's right, Sherman's Kitchen. Thank you so much for taking time out of the day, tuning in with me to see what I'm cooking today. Today we will be making baked salmon. That's right guys, something that's light, but can be filling and very flavorful. I'm so excited today guys to share this quick recipe with you guys. Like I said, it's very filling and salmon is good for you. Let's go ahead and start with the main dish. I have salmon, okay? It depends on how many salmon you're cooking. Some people like to skin the salmon. Some people keep it on. So some of my family like the skin off. I keep skin on for some. Then I have lemon. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with that. Then I also have some oranges, lime, and I have some fresh asparagus. Now, as you can see, I left some stems on some of the asparagus, and then some I chopped and made them small, okay? So either or, whichever you prefer. So the ones I cut up, I just cut this part off and cut the tip off and just kept the middle. You're gonna see what I'm gonna do with that. Okay, two teaspoons of garlic powder, three teaspoons of seasoning salt. Now this is what's gonna bring it home, guys. My red lobster, delish. Use my salt and pepper, red lobster seasoning, seasoning salt, garlic powder, salt and pepper. Then I have my parchment paper. You're gonna use parchment paper, no wax paper. Don't put the wax paper in the oven with this. You're gonna use parchment paper, okay? I have a cookie sheet, cause I'm gonna do a few today. I have my butter over there going. I have like six teaspoons of butter. Go ahead and get, my pan is already hot. I got my oil already melted down, my butter. For about a good three minutes, cause it's also gonna cook in the oven. I have my oven set at 350. Okay, you're gonna cook the salmon for about like 30 minutes. You don't want it to get too dry. So that's why I have the butter cooking with the vegetables so that we can bring it all together. This has been two minutes now, just about two and a half minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings, okay? You can add your seasonings before when you melt the butter or you can add them afterwards. I add all my seasonings I gave you, except but the salt and pepper. You're gonna save that last. have already prepared some of the salmon pouches already. I'm gonna show you what I did. I went ahead and that salt I told you about, just take a pinch, do both sides to your liking. I'm gonna also take pepper, just a little pinch of pepper, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and start placing the orange, the lemon, the lime, asparagus. Put as much as vegetables as you want. I really don't give no measurements on your vegetables. Okay. And then I take a little spoon of the aroma and I take and make sure the sauce I made up, make sure you put it right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this wrap. You get as many as you can place on the cookie sheet, okay? So today I'm making maybe like six, so I'm gonna wrap it as I showed you and get as many placed as I can. So I am back, so just to reiterate, 13 minutes to cook 12 to 13 minutes. You want your salmon moist with that butter sauce recipe I gave you. 30 minutes will be way too long. Don't nobody want to dry it up salmon. 13 minutes, okay? All right, so on the side, I did make some yellow rice. I mean, they have different brands out there. Make your own homemade Zatarans, different type of yellow rice you can make. And then we have the baked salmon. So, let's 
So let's go ahead and open it together. So when you take it out of the oven, you're gonna let it cool off for about five minutes because it is gonna be hot, okay? So you wanna let it cool off before you open that pouch up together. Look at that. You got your vegetables. Let you get a good look. Cook, you got your salmon. Done, perfectly salmon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get it off of the parchment paper and put it on top of my yellow rice. Now, if you choose not to have no sides because you already got your vegetables, that's fine too. Let's go ahead and put it here. I want that lime also. Oh my God, guys, look at this. Delicious. I want you to get a good picture and a good look at the salmon. It smells amazing. You don't need any more seasoning. We did all of that. And there you go. Yellow rice, optional. It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. I taste the lemon, the orange flavor. Squeeze more lemon on it afterwards if you like. It's your choice. I thank you guys for tuning in with me today, checking me out. Follow me on Facebook at Charmon Snyder. Subscribe to the channel. Share the recipes. Instagram, Shimon Snyder. I thank you all for watching, tuning in. Thanks for your time. My family to yours. Be blessed as usual. Have a blessed one.